can you have a different IP address for different browsers? Well, yes you can, and it's actually quite easy to do, and in fact very, very useful. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how you do this um, using something called a VPN, which is a virtual private network. Now, you've probably heard of these. They're quite common, and um, lots of people use them every day for different reasons. Um, quite often for security, encrypting your data, um, bypassing all those blocks you get online, stopping you from watching things like the BBC or Netflix or stuff like that. Uh, but I'm, go I'm going to show you how this works. Now, okay, so... We're going to need two browsers here to demonstrate this. So I've got a Chrome window here and I've got a Firefox window here. And at the moment, see, I've just gone to a, a site called My Location. And you can see My Location is in the UK with Firefox. Let me just minimize that. And Chrome is in the same location in the United Kingdom. OK, now I'm going to minimize these and then show you the VPN I use called NordVPN. Uh, it's one of the cheapest and best, I think. And you can find a discounted link in the description below if you fancy trying it yourself. Uh, but I will show you how this works. Okay, so it's a virtual private network. It's an encrypted tunnel between you and a VPN server. When you're connected to this VPN server, anything on the web gets redirected down there, or anything online, in fact. And the only visible trace of you is the IP address of the VPN server. So they don't see your real location. Okay, so I'm going to connect now. Here's, as you can see, NordVPN. This is the basic subscription. <coughs> Has servers all over the world. So I fancy having a US IP address, and I'll show you why in a minute. So let's go to, let's go to and get a New York IP address. So I'm connected to a New York IP address there. And it's connected. So everything at the moment now will be routed through this VPN tunnel. And everything when I'm online, when I go to Google or to Netflix or wherever, my local banking site, whatever, will uh, see that I've got an American IP address. Sometimes that'll be handy. Sometimes it'll be a pain. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can have two different IP addresses on the same machine. Now you need to go to the configuration settings and it's this little cog or gear down here. And we need to scroll down and find split tunneling. Okay, so this is split tunneling. Uh, now some VPN services have this, the better ones have this function, not all of them. <coughs> uh, but uh, NordVPN is the probably the biggest so it has most features and you'll come here and you'll get these two options first of all you can either disable the vm vpn for the se selected apps or enable the vpn for selected apps so we're going to show disable here so we're going to tell firefox not to use the vpn so everything on this computer will use the vpn bar anything in this list i.e firefox okay so i'm going to add that uh there we go. So it's Firefox is enabled now. Uh, split tunneling is enabled, and for all for everything on this com computer, bar Firefox. Okay, so let's go down, and we've got a US IP address. So let me just go and show you how that works. So let's go to Chrome and refresh this page. You can see it says I'm in the United Kingdom. Now Chrome will be using the VPN, so. Chrome will now have a US IP address, not a UK one. Okay, we can just show you there. And we can show that Chrome now thinks I'm in U uh, the US. So any website, anything I go into in Chrome will be on the basis of a, a US IP address. So I'll be able to access US only sites, but I'll also be blocked from non UK sites in Chrome. Let me just show you um, Firefox here. And we've told Firefox to ignore the VPN and carry on as it before. Let me refresh the page. And you can see Firefox is still in the UK. Okay, so there I am. I'm in the UK on Firefox. All at exactly the same time. Now, practical benefits are... One of the reasons a lot of people use this is, for instance, if you want to access, say you're a, a US expat or a UK expat and you're on holiday or traveling abroad, or <clears throat> you can have a browser that works in the US 
and a browser that works for the UK or vice versa or Germany, Denmark, Japan, Australia, China, wherever you like. Just to demonstrate this, I will now, I'm going to minimize Firefox, which is in the UK because I've told it to ignore the VPN. And let's go to Netflix now and refresh this page. And you will see that my Netflix count now is a US one. So it will show you the US catalogue of Netflix. So top 10 films in the US today. Scroll down and you'll see top US films somewhere. Yeah, top TV programs in the US today. So this is the US catalogue because I'm using it in Chrome and Chrome is has at the moment got a US IP address. So I've got two IP addresses. I've got a US one and a UK one in different browsers. And that's all there is to it. Um, if I wanted to watch BBC iPlayer, I'd have to go and use um, uh, Firefox because I'll get blocked in Chrome because I've got a US IP address. So you pick which country you need in which browser. Okay, uh, the most useful for me is US and UK, but uh, you might prefer French and Spanish or Japanese and Turkish or whatever. Uh, you can only really have two with split tunneling. Um, I don't think any of the VPNs offer any other um, service, but you can stop the VPN and then change it to a different um, IP address, a different server. That's no problem. OK, hope that's been um, useful. I'll finish my video there. So that's how to have a different IP address for different browsers. Thank you very much for watching.